Okay, hi people. Good news or bad news? I don't know. This morning, this morning I came with Sara for her driving test and she passed. <laughs> When you release something new, this is the first time you guys are going to see Sara driving a car, okay? okay? So pay attention. I am paying attention. Okay, so the test, were, it was two tests of 20, right? That's 20 questions. And you're only allowed to get four wrong. And each test, I got three wrong. Literally, I had <laughs> one more. <laughs> I was like dying. I was so nervous because I was like, oh my God, if I mess this, I'm going to do it again. I'm like, there's no way. Okay, so that's that's the news that we have for you guys and now both of them are driving uh, Sophia as well uh, Sophia just need to do one more test for her to have her fully license and be able to drive by herself on her own which right now Sara she can only drive with somebody with her but I'm gonna do driving school and I'm gonna have it my full license by October well uh, okay, people, so if you see Sarah, move away. <laughs> Wait, Wait, I'm an excellent driver. If you see Sarah around the road, move away. <laughs> no, no. Slowing down, move, bro. No, it is, it is. Okay, so today is a very rainy day, and uh, we might do a few things later on. We might gonna go thrifting, right? We say we're gonna go thrifting. Thrifting today, Sophia? No, I don't know. But maybe, so maybe you and I, and uh, maybe Sophia, if she wants to come, we can go thrifting. I think I look good on my, um, what's it called? My Your photo. picture? <laughs> okay, guys, see you later. Wish me luck with Sarah. I'm not a bad driver, I'm good. And here we are at home, and Sarah is ready to do her cooking show. Right, Sari? Oh, and tonight, cooking with Sarah, <laughs> what are we doing today? Apple pie. Apple pie. Because I aspire to be one of those grandmas that are, you know, like those iconic grandmas <laughs> that like have their own recipes. Like I already got the crocheting down, so I just need to... You like, haven't shown anything of your crocheting. I don't. I'll show So show... So what's the first step for your famous apple pie? You have to juggle the apples. Yeah, it's because secret you have to shake the apples. Whoa! Look the, at that! The, the only reason why I learned how to juggle was by pure, pure pressure. Pure pressure. Because everyone at my tennis club... Oh! Everyone at my tennis club would be like, Oh, Sarah, you have to juggle. Yeah. And I was like, no, I when you train at that club. But I never went to that club when I was younger, so. But now she learned. Now I learned. And who is over here? I'm here, and I'm waiting for the pie. <laughs> I'm here for the moral Yes, so Sari, hurry up, because we want some pie. And the butter is going up? Yeah, see, me, I even make the crust. Okay, we don't buy the crust, okay? No. That's what, actually, I'm not going to say that. Just, I make the crust because it's authentic. This is 100% handmade. 100%. Home, handmade by Sarah Gutkowski. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have to see and then we're going to show it's you like how she does it. flour, sugar, salt. You don't need any shortening for this, which is good. Cause... But you need a lot of butter. Yeah. Like a lot. It's like cardiac arrest butter. A lot. Well, it's only like one cup. One cup? For the whole pie. Not the whole pie. So the whole pie is like one and a half cups. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. And kneading time, right? Yeah, this is my least favorite part. Actually, my least favorite part is cutting the apples because it takes so long. I kind of like that. It's kind of like... It's, it's like satisfying. It's like playing yeah. with slime. I remember you used to love play with uh, Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah, Play-Doh. Let's not go back to the slime days. Mm -hmm. 
Now, now you have to let her rest, right? Yeah, this has to rest for an hour, I think. At least an hour. She has to separate it in two, because one's for the bottom and one's for the top. Perfect. And look at that. Look at that. Nice. Cooking with Sarah. I finished the pie filling. Look at this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at this. Mm. Pure perfection. I wish you could try this, okay? Because this is like. Mm. But I think you're taking too long, huh? Too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to make the pie? <laughs> okay, okay, come on. Come on. Um, the pie was like, she rested in the fridge for like about an hour. Show me. Okay, it's not too hard. Okay, we're good. I thought it was going to be like rock solid. We're good. So I split it into two halves because I'm gonna do like the bottom and then you know on top. And this is my favorite part because we get to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> we get the roly poly. A little roly poly. Grab a buttload of flour in your hand. Sprinkle some of that on there. Okay, this is taking too long. Finish it and then. Wow. Mama, I don't think you're gonna get any pie. That's why I don't bake because I have no pie. Yeah, I love beating the crap out of it. Mmm, almost there. Almost. I'm, I'm adding my finishing touches. Oh. What do you have in your face? That already. I do it every time to show the pie to the boss. <laughs> Look at this. Holy moly. I add, I always add hearts to my pie. Mm. You make it with love. You make it with love. Lovey, 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 lovey. Okay. Did you start preheating the oven? No. <sighs> my brain doesn't think that far ahead. Just give me a look. Look at this. You're really cute. Look at that. I teach you well. <laughs> yes, you did. No, if I have to be honest, Sarah learned on her own. Because I get hyperfixations every week. One week it's crocheting, the other week it's drawing or painting, the other week is building Legos, the other week is baking, next week is... Her brain is so big that every week she has to be doing something different. Yeah. That's what happens when you are so smart and so talented. Or something else, but yeah. You are talented. Nothing else. And... Now what are you doing? Final touches? Uh, this is egg wash. So that it gets that nice golden little touch when it's cooking. And then I put heart like egg wash at the bottom of the heart so that it sticks and it won't like fall or anything. Mm. Don't tell Sophia I put egg in the pie. <laughs> she will not eat the pie. I think we should tell her something like that. We have more pie for us. That's very <laughs> true, though. And then we just coat the pie with the egg wash. And which temperature is going to go on the oven? I think it's like at 420 for like half an hour and then 350 for an hour. Okay, we're going to see how it comes out. Or it's 420 for 15 minutes and then... We'll see. I can't remember. I have to look at my recipe. So sorry. Is ready? Huh? What do we? Let me see. 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 Let
me see, let me see. It's rolling. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. Actually, do. But you forgot again to put something under. Put it in here. Wow. Look at the board. This is so nice. Sari. Sari. It smells delicious. It really took way too much time. Eh? <laughs> Not even ready yet either. No way. I know, but anyways, uh, we're gonna let you know how good this pie was. We are gonna have to go and buy some vanilla ice cream, right? Sure. I don't like vanilla ice cream. I don't like ice cream. Well, but daddy likes it with vanilla ice cream. I know, I'm like a menace to children. I don't like ice cream that much. So, that's it. Thank that's you, it. Sari. <laughs> We we'll let you know, guys, but this is delicious. It smells delicious. Delicious. Bye bye. <laughs> Cooking with Sarah off. Signing off. <laughs>